Hey guys, let's talk today about the BLF D80 Special Edition. This is a uh, light created by the people at Budget Light Forum, which is based off the Lucky Sun D80. And uh, the Special Edition was made, and it's available for purchase now. The cool thing is this light is 28 bucks, but there's coupon codes out there where you can actually get this for like $22 shipped from uh, Gearbest, who is pretty much the ones who put together this big... Uh, group by for the light. So what is this thing? It's a single 18650 light that uses an XML2 U2 LED, which is pretty much one of the brightest LEDs on the market. There's only maybe one or two others capable of doing better. It's on a uh, board uh, called an octagon and it's uh, a copper board and it has a direct thermal path which makes it very good for handling heat at the higher lumens, which is good that's always a good sign of quality when you use those good components it has uh five modes which are pretty much just straight you know from high mode to low mode brightness no strobes or flashy uh, disco modes and uh it's a very simple 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 light which is awesome and uh we'll go over kind of head to toe of course you have the uh stainless steel bezel anti-reflective uh glass lens, real glass, smooth uh, reflector in here, and you can see your, your XML2 there. You have uh, anodized aluminum uh, body with the nice cooling fins, some good checkering to it so it's not slippery, and uh, the anodizing is actually really nice. It's really smooth and uh, hasn't worn off at all on me. This light, one of the cool things about this light is it's actually kind of pocketable. It's got a nice big head, so it's a nice thrower, but at the same time, you can fit this into a big pocket in your pants. Not if you're wearing skinny jeans, but for the rest of us normal human beings, this will fit into your pants pocket uh, pretty easily. So, it's a reverse clicky, and as we've kind of covered in videos before, reverse clicky means the light has to be on, and then you can switch to the modes by doing a half press. So, that, and then you can turn it off. So there is no momentary on feature with a reverse clicky. This takes, as I mentioned, single 18650 batteries. And uh, it will not fit every battery. Just so you know, a lot of the protected batteries are too long, but there are places you can buy the extended tubes for this if you do want the longer protected batteries. Um, so it is important to note, this isn't a flashlight you should buy for your kids or buy for someone who's not familiar with lithium ion because without a protected battery, you can overdrain the battery cause problems, have bad things happen. So, not necessarily for beginners. And there's no protection as well. I did some runtime testing and all that, and the light doesn't blink or twitch or do anything when the battery's low. It pretty much will just run dry. So it is a light you do have to be a little careful of, and I really don't recommend it for beginners because of that, because you can not only do serious damage to the battery, but throw that battery into a charger, you could potentially have fire or explosion from over discharging it. So, just wanted to put that out there. It comes with this fancy little lanyard. Um, Alright, so let's talk about performance. Now, I did some runtime testing. And as you know, what I've been doing is basically setting up the flashlights one meter away from a wall and then using my cell phone as a uh, lux meter to measure lux. Now, lumens and lux are two different things. Lux is a measure of brightness. Lumens is a measure of the total amount of light coming out of the flashlight. You really need some fancy equipment to actually test lumens. But Lux, on the other hand, you can test with something as simple as your cell phone. So it gives you an idea of brightness at a point, not the total amount of light. So basically what I did is I ran two tests, both with two different batteries here. And sorry I didn't make a fancy graph, but I'm just lazy. Let's be honest. <laughs> So I ran this twice with an MJ1 battery, which is a 3500 milliamp hour battery from LG, and it's uh, rated for around 10 amps. And then I ran it with a Samsung 26F, which I think is like 2800 milliamp hours, and rated for you know also pretty high amps. And uh, these are my initial Lux readings, which is 61.7K, and 54.8. So you can see there is going to be a difference between batteries. Why is that? Inter internal resistance between the batteries, how they how efficient they are at different amperages, all that jazz. You know, your mileage is going to vary depending on the battery you get. But as you can see, this is 
almost a 10% difference in brightness based on these two different batteries. The MJ1 being a very good battery and the 26F being a little outdated. I kind of did that on purpose to show the difference that your mileage will basically depend on the quality of the batteries you buy. So what I did is I ran this thing and what I found was that the light on this stayed pretty bright up until about an hour. You actually go down to about 50% in an hour and then from there it goes down pretty quickly down to almost nothing and then it, uh, at 100 minutes I stopped because we were only at uh, 3.6k lumen which is maybe 100 or uh, 6k, 3.6k lux which is maybe 100 lumen, 80 lumen and I checked the battery was at 2.93 volts so I ended the test because I didn't want to over drain it. The 26F I ran as you can see it went down a lot quicker and was at half uh, it was a half power at 30 minutes and then uh, went down and pretty much only lasted 70. So as you can see, you're talking 30 more minutes of runtime with a good battery and a lot of that had some pretty usable, you know, 200 lumen light. So you can get, you know, anywhere from 70 minutes to 100 minutes depending on your battery and that brightness will stay, you know, well above the 200 lumen range into 70, 80 minutes with a good battery. Now, I did do some testing and checked the uh, amperage. I did a uh, tail cap reading. And what I found is on high mode, this thing uh, draws 2.25 amps. But once again, your mileage is going to vary based on the battery you choose, how your flashlight's set up, all that stuff. So, one thing also to note with this testing, because you're, like I said, keep saying, your mileage may vary. I did do the tail cap mod on this I did uh, and see my video for it add a uh, copper braid to the tail spring to reduce the redis resistance of that that's a very long spring and it's just plain straight steel it's not coated so we're getting rid of a lot of a resistance by uh, by doing that so as you can see this takes this is just a laptop pull this is actually a Samsung 28A 28A I took out of a laptop and uh, it's a flat top so we'll use those it's got a uh, we're going to open this up actually since we're at the head. There is a pedestal as opposed to a spring, which allows it to use those flat top batteries, but also there's no spring there, so you don't have as much, you know, kind of room to play when it comes to battery life. But on the other hand, it does give you really good connection because there's less resistance, resistance than a uh, steel spring. So overall, the build quality is really good. You're talking really nice glass lens, really nice smooth reflector, good anodizing, good threads. Everything is built very well about this. It's a good LED on a good board, a good driver. Everything about this light is good and the fact that it's only like $22 shipped is a minor miracle. So you're talking good brightness, good throw, pocketable. This thing is like good. So we're going to take this thing to the window real quick, do some uh, beam shots for you and then we're going to call it a day so don't mind me while I move over it's a little easier for me to do this just kind of going from the table to the window so we're going to start on high of course and hopefully we'll zoom out here and focus and you can see you have a very large area of spill you know very well defined area stone. See we got a rainy night here and a very bright hot center spot. So it's a very nice beam pattern and that's a result of having the larger head and the uh, smooth reflector and the very deep reflector. So as you can see we can easily see my uh, fire pit back there which is 56 yards as I measured it. And this as I said is the high mode. Here's my garage. There's my kid's swing set. You can see the fence. See the trees back there. Overall, really nice. And we're going to cycle through the modes. So you can see them. You can see that one there is just a little tiny dot. Really neat. Because if you're looking around, you know, it's just that little tiny dot and there's very little noticeable spill. Very good for being discreet. So there we are back on high. You can see very bright. Very good throw to it. Really like that. I mean, if you're looking... You know, for a good hunting light or something like that. See, there's my kid's ball out there on the yard. You know, really nice. 
So there's the modes again. Here's the next one down. This is barely, this is much dimmer. I mean, the original is 1100. This is probably 800, 900. And you're getting down, you're probably like 600, probably like 400, maybe 300, probably 200. You're talking maybe 100 or so. Then this last mode. But yeah. Pretty neat. All right. Sorry, guys, the lanyard's in the way here, and I'm not doing a very good job switching between the modes. So, yeah, just wanted to show you. This thing's got a really nice throw to it. Really nice beam profile, very clean, nice focus beam. Everything about this is quality. Hope you enjoyed.